Hey, this is Kristen Shaw, and I am here with Mike Swear from Toyota. He's the chief engineer for the brand new, all new Tundra, and I'm excited to talk to him about the whole Toyota Tundra process and the engine and everything that's been going on with this new truck. And I'm really excited to be talking to you about our new truck. It's and now it's on top of a new platform, right? And you built the platform. You said you and 42 engineers went to Japan and collaborated on figuring out what the best platform was going to be by combining the F01? The F0, the F1, and the F2 platform we combined together. And the F2 one. is the Land Cruiser platform? Right? The F1's Land Cruiser. F2 okay. is, is some other vehicles um, that we, we sell overseas and in other places. Okay, and correct me if I'm wrong, the new platform gives you more modularity. So you can put different kinds of engines in there. Absolutely. So that was the goal of by combining this, it gives us the flexibility to use all the power plants that we have. And it's designed to be a global platform, so to meet the needs around the globe. Um, the great thing is, from a towing capability, all our towing is really uh, developed in North America and you know land cruiser in, in different region uses that our towing technology but the same as land cruiser's off-road capability is now in my truck right so you know it it's really a win-win situation for us but when you it, it sounds like a great plan and when you get started in it it sounds great it was uh it was a herculean task to get these together and how do you control vehicle length you know what about crash worthiness and you know how rigid should the frame be and there was a lot of discussion of how to combine the best parts and i think the biggest challenge for us on this uh, we always ran what we called the triple tech frame so we have a full box up front we have a reinforced c in the in the center section and it's an open c in the rear on that frame and the reason we do that is for compliancy you know for for torsional and bending compliancy of the frame that's why you keep the box separated from the cab right uh, when you go to a fully box frame which we have to to put an suv on this frame so like land cruiser we had went to a fully box frame that's necessary but then you give up the compliancy of the pickup truck and two things happen with that one is your ride quality goes to pieces and the other is you get a lot of wheel lift off road when you're on, you know, moguls or, or so adulations or, you know, it's going to lift that wheel up in the air. And the best thing you can do is keep all four wheels down. Right. right. So the challenge I gave to the, to the platform team is I don't want anybody to ever say, well, it rides like a truck. Why does it have to ride like a truck? You know, or if I throw, I load the bed up or put a trailer behind it, it rides a lot better. Well, that's because of the leaf springs. And leaf springs are great if you have the right compliancy in your frame, which our current truck has. We have a great ride in our current truck. And it's very capable off-road. You know, the story I always like to give is a 747. My understanding is the wings will move to 28 feet, right? If you made them solid and you got in turbulence, they'd bust right. off. Mm -hmm. Truck's no different. So if you make your frame uh, too rigid, you put leaf packs underneath it, it's great when it's loaded up because you've got to try to keep that vehicle posture, whether it's empty or loaded. So you're really focusing that leaf pack on the loaded side of it. So I, what, what I requested to the engineers were, okay, well, we have this pickup truck. What are you going to do to get the ride quality back, get the compliancy? And that's where we introduced the new multi-link rear suspension with coil springs. So the coil springs have, has, it's a dual rate spring. We moved the shocks to the outboard of that. To, to help with the dampening, and we still had roll of the vehicle um, to contend with because you're still rusting on a couple of springs, coil springs now, where uh, our current leaf packs we put in a trapezoidal to give it more stability than just the straight like some of our competitors do. But how do we get that back? So we put a torsional bar going across there. Okay. And we, we think we have the best ride quality, and as I mentioned, Competent natural is really important to us. So when the customer gets in, it should ride, it should handle to meet their expectations, especially if they're first time truck owner. It shouldn't feel like a truck or ride like a truck. It doesn't need to. And you expect this new Tundra to appeal to new buyers. You know, so is it this performance that you think is going to attract them away from some of your competitors? Um, you know, the numbers will speak for themselves. On the, on the engine performance. But I really think it's the creature comforts of the vehicle. 
And we try, our, our philosophy is a little bit different. I'm not looking to out feature or out gadget or out gimmick, you know, my competitors. We build a Toyota truck and our goal is to make the next generation truck better than the last generation truck. And it starts with our QDR, our quality, durability, and reliability. But it's also fitting what the customer's needs are. So we may not offer some of the features and tailgates and stuff some of our competitors do, but our tailgate, for an example, is, is designed to meet the need of our customer. Our customer tends to be more active than our competitor's customers. They motorcycle or dirt bike. They, they mountain bike, they snowmobile, they um, run ATVs and UTVs, and the loading of that equipment in the back is super important. What we heard from them is, yeah, I never damaged my, my tailgate, but I really wish it was a little stronger. So we changed the design and structure of our tailgate to be stronger and still meet it. But there's some certain things that we've heard complaints about. Uh, right now, we have a mechanical handle on the back of our tailgate. We changed to a power lock. My request as chief engineer is, I really want a key fob open. I don't know why I can't stand here and open my tailgate. The engineer that's responsible for the lock on the back, that handle and lock, came to us and said, yeah, you know, I can do a key fob, but that doesn't fit my need. So my whole team are truck guys. And I go, well, what are you talking about? He goes, well, I'm carrying my cooler. I got to set the cooler down. I got to pull a key fob out of my pocket. I got to hit the button. If I'm going to do that, I might as well walk to the back of the truck and hit the tailgate. And I'm like, so what's your idea? And he came up. We have a, a side button on the, the tail lamp. And he goes, he made a little mock-up of it. And he's like, this is what I want. And he pushes it with the elbow and the tailgate opens. I'm like, very cool. Brilliant. Right? Now, is that better than like a, a kick? You know, where you're using some minivans or SUVs where you kick underneath the vehicle to open it up? I believe so for a truck and what you use a pickup truck for. Okay. So kick sensors are are good, but there's a couple problems with kick sensors. They don't like dirt, they don't like mud, and they don't like snow. That's a big factor when you're trucking. And when you have a truck, that's a big <laughs> right. factor, right? So the, the sensors get covered with any debris, then they don't work properly. The other is, unlike uh, you know SUVs or that, is how do you tell the customer where that sensor is? So, it, you know, if you ever seen anybody behind their vehicle and they, they look like they're doing aerobics, <laughs> they're trying to find the sensor and they're right. not hitting the right location. So, we talked about kick sensors, and these were some of the things we we discussed. You know, well, where how are you going to know the kick sensor, and what are you going to do? To help the customer know where that is and what do we how do we clean it these type of things and so so the the hardware engineer that designed this or proposed this this elbow button is like well this fits all the needs and we talked on that one about just doing what we call proximity switch or a sensor on that so you didn't have to push a button but the same issue is how do you keep it clean it's right. a truck and if you ever see my truck, it's never clean. So, you That's know, how it's supposed to be. It's yeah, a dirty truck is wonderful. And so, you know, this is our solution to it. So we think it's not a gimmick or a gadget. It's really something that benefits a customer with their lifestyle needs. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. Looking forward to driving this one off-road. We'll see you soon.